what up YouTube um, I have had request on uh, this videos or this video series and by request I'm gonna do it um, it's basically uh, angelfish breeding and uh, how to do it and I'm gonna walk you through everything so uh, here's some stuff you're gonna need um, and this is stuff I need to do so you know you can do it along with me or you can go ahead and just watch these videos and eventually do it along first of all you're gonna need some fish uh, get a fish tank. Um, I would recommend you're gonna almost need a 55 and a 20 and possibly a 10. Uh, depends on how you want to do it, but um, you're gonna at least need at least a 20, minimum 20. Uh, you're gonna get some fish. Um, preferably, it's smart to get baby angelfish. They're cheaper than adults. Uh, it's cheaper than pears. It's just cheaper to get uh, baby angelfish, honestly. Um, get something you like. That's the best way of describing it. Um, you know, some people are going to probably ask me, is there fish that breed better than other pear or, you know, other fish? I will go into detail about all that and more videos to come. So, you know, honestly, just get fish you like. That is my best answer of all answers. Um... If you do get them into 55, I know people are going to ask me, you know, I don't know how to get them to pair off or, you know, there's going to be tons of questions. All right. First of all, if you get them at babies, uh, it's going to take you like nine months. So keep feeding them. Don't bother asking me any questions. Feed them. Feed them. Water changes and nine months later, they will pair up. And uh, don't ask me about the fighting, don't, you know, like, I'm not trying to be a jerk or anything, I'm just trying to, you know, so that way there's not needed, unneeded questions to be answered. They're going to fight, they're going to beat each other up, they're going to beat each other up when they're young. If you like it, cool, I don't. My fish are actually pretty peaceful till they start pairing off. Um, but anyways, back to this whole thing. They are cichlids, so expect that to happen. Um... Get them to pair off. Um, feed them a lot. When they become six to seven months, drop your temperature to like 78, 80. I mean, I would prefer 78 personally. You know, drop it down a little bit. And uh, keep feeding them. Feed them heavily. Uh, turn on their lights a little bit longer. You know, instead of eight hours, go to 12. Um, and then start doing bigger water changes. That will get them to start uh, spawning or start getting them in that mode. Um, you should get a pair. They will beat each other up. Uh, expect that to happen. You need minimum six. And this is mathematically, you know, you'll get a 90, I think it's 98.1% that you'll get a pair. That's what you're going to need. You're going to need six minimum. So you're going to need a 55. You can't do it in a 20 gallon. You can only hold three in a 20 gallon. And three, I think it's like a 60 or 70% chance. So... You know, you can do it in a 20. I'm not saying you can't do it, but, you know, I'm not going to lie. If you get a pair, that one fish, that's the random nobody, is going to get its butt beat up in a 20-gallon. Um, once you get the pair, get a 20-gallon or 29. Um, you can do 40 if you want to. Preferably, there's no point in wasting extra water. I go 20. 29 is pretty good, too, but like I said, I don't waste water. I don't like to waste space, but I still want them to be comfortable uh, 15 if you can find a 15 gallon that actually is perfect I would say it's perfect a uh, friend of mine uh, breeds them in 30 gallons and he puts a divider in between them and has two pairs on one on each side so you know whatever works for you it, that you can afford so uh, get there and we'll keep going from there um, basically what you want to do for your pair tank is you if you have a hang on filter uh, DIY it. Check out my video, uh, how to DIY it and make it baby proof. Uh, I think it's up there. Or get sponge filters. Uh, on your 55, unless you plan on breeding them, uh, in your 55. And I mean, here's something you can do. What you can do is get a pair in a 55, put a divider up, let them do their thing on their side. And honestly, you could sell the rest of them because you only need one pair to actually breed angelfish. You can sell the rest of them, which will pay for the food and pay for themselves and pay for everything. Excuse me. Because people will buy adult-sized angelfish because, well, nobody wants to grow them out. Some people actually like them out as adults or they want to buy them because they want to pair them up. But, uh, or you can wait and get another pair and sell the pair and the pair will be sold for even more. Uh, price ranges on angelfish. Uh, what I know of and what, you know, this is what I spend, so I'm just giving you guys a heads up. 
um, at quarter size, at wholesale price, I buy them at a dollar piece. Dime size, dollar piece. So, you know, around that price is what I spend. What you as an individual will probably spend, um, probably $5. Unless you know a breeder, unless you know somebody, unless you're going to buy a lot, unless you're nice to somebody, you're not going to get them cheaper than that. You might, I'm not even going to say though, because I know someone lives right next to a breeder in Florida somewhere. But anyways, uh, that's about the price. It's $5 at, you know, quarter size. Adults can vary depending on the fish, depending on the color, depending on all that stuff, which I will make a video on different types of angelfish. I'll discuss angelfish. I'll talk about angelfish in more detail so you guys can understand it. The fish itself. Sorry, the lights are turned off. It's on a timer. So, that being said, it goes anywhere from literally $5 to I've seen one fish be sold for $100. Um, pairs... If you get a pair, um, cheapest I've seen a pair was $20. Most expensive that I've seen was $1,000. Uh, the highest I've ever sell, sold a pair for was $400. Yeah, $400 for a pair. Yeah, so I mean, there is a money maker to be made. Um, it was a gorgeous pair though. So anyways, um, like I said... Get your tank ready and I'll walk you through this. Uh, make sure you get a sponge filter or a filter on your 20 gallon. Uh, you can do hang on like I said, but just make sure you modify it to make it baby proof. Or maybe not. Uh, get a slate or a cone or a piece of PVC pipe works well. Get a PVC pipe and put it like this at an angle. Uh, I would say whatever angle that is. I mean you can go a little bit further this way but you know primarily about yay. Not sure what that is. Someone figure out the math on that. I don't know. Uh, another way to save on uh, that, which I will add a lot of tips on saving on money, uh, you can get a go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get a piece of tile, uh, marble or you know granite or whatever you want. Actually, I got this uh, off a construction job I did. I got it for free, obviously, and it cost me free I mean I didn't even have to cut it someone cut it for me I asked the guy to cut it for me um, you can go to Lowe's and I think it's five cents or a dollar to get a cut I mean I think it's free your first like five cuts are free or something like that at a uh, Home Depot or Lowe's and what you could do is uh, get a pot to tile and get a piece of tile cut and I'll explain what you need this for and I'll explain uh, some more stuff down the road so make sure you have a heater in your aquarium uh, light you don't necessarily need light, but I'll explain things of that. Uh, some live plants are preferred but not needed. And let's uh, get this rolling. Uh, I hope you guys do this with me, and uh, let's get this stuff going. Questions, comments, uh, like it, helps my videos. And uh, rate, subscribe, comment, I think I already did that. Peace out.